Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Alicia. I am a New York State licensed cosmetologist and today if you couldn't tell we are going to do some hair. So let's get into it. I am going to take you through an easy messy low bun today. I saw this technique on Instagram reels the other day and I was like oh my gosh I have to try that. So as you can see, I have a little bit of craziness going on this morning and I have some dirty, greasy roots. So I want a little bit of texture. This isn't gonna be a low bun that is slick back and tight. Instead, I want it to be a little bit looser and a little bit more texturized. So I am going in with the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo and I'm just going to spray that around my ends, excuse me, around my roots rub it in a little bit to add some texture, and then we'll get into the first step. Now, I do want to tame this hair a little bit, so I'm just using a regular paddle brush. I am parting my hair down the middle, and then I am continuing to rub in that dry shampoo where I might see any remaining white spots. And then I am just kind of brushing my hair down a little bit, and I'm not actually gonna brush it through completely as I normally would because again, I want that little bit of extra texture and my hair tends to flatten pretty easily when I brush it all the way through. So I'm gonna get like majority of it smooth, but not too, too smooth. Now that my hair is brushed out how I want it, again, not all the way through, but enough that it's not totally knotty, but I still have that texture and that volume, I am going to take one of these scrunchies. This is just like from Amazon, or I actually don't even remember where I got it, but I am going to just take this scrunchie and start putting my hair back into a ponytail. I have a lot of like volume and texture happening up top. So I also want to tame that down a little bit, but I do want to keep some of it because again, this is like a messy look instead of like a slick back look. So I'm just going to play around and brush through with my fingers. And I also think that I'm going to pull out a couple of front pieces just to add a little bit more to the look as well. So I am going to do that and keep brushing through with my fingers until I get the positioning that I want with the desired look. Is it flat enough? Do I have like the bumps that make it look good but not too crazy or anything like that? So with that being said, I am liking how this is turning out and I am just going to keep playing with it until I have it exactly how I want it. I'm going to talk you all through the next couple of steps and then turn around and show you because I don't want to talk to you with my face like my back to the camera. So pretty much the next step from here is going to be just taking out a little bit of the ponytail that we just secured. So we have a little loop here and then by doing that you're kind of creating a little loop that's going to look like this, right? And then you have the remainder of your hair. And what I'm going to do is separate the remainder of this hair into two pieces. And then I'm going to loop it up top and connect it there so that we can make another little hole here. And then we're gonna finalize it and kind of like do a twist and loop the bun through and it will make more sense when I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and take you through those next couple of steps.
So when we get to this step, I totally forgot to mention before, we are going to need a little clear elastic so that we can tie the two pieces together like so. And then what we're gonna do is take this piece and I have shorter hair, so it's a little bit tricky. It might not be perfect at the first try, but I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to twist it, and then I'm gonna loop it under the bun. So I'm gonna turn around again and show you what that looks like. And then once it's looped under, I'm going to take where my elastic is held and I'm just going to pull it to tighten a little bit. And then if you have longer hair and you have some pieces sticking out, you can either leave it or you can kind of tuck it underneath to hide it a little bit. And then from there, what you can do is just pull the bun out a little bit if you wanna add a little bit more texture or if you want to make it a little bit looser if you've maybe started too tight. So after we tie and twist and tuck and do all of that fancy footwork, this is your finished product. So cute, so easy, honestly relatively simple, but definitely a little bit tricky. So if you don't nail it the first time around, that is a-okay, just keep practicing. And it might be a little bit difficult with different hair textures, with different hair lengths. So just keep going and keep trying until you feel like you achieve it the way that you wanna wear it. And I love this because it's so simple, it took me less than five minutes, and it's one of those looks that you can dress up or you can dress it down. So with all that being said, thank you all for tuning in and I will see you next time.